But five, Martin County rocks. It's a phrase that has taken on a whole new meaning on the Treasure Coast. One family's holiday project taken on a life of its own on social media, creating a lot of buzz in the community. And Jason Hackett's live at Memorial Park in Stewart to explain. Jason? Uh, Michael and Kelly, remember that app uh, Pokemon Go from about a year ago? It took the world by storm. Well, this family says it's created its own version of that, a lower tech version, mind you. No smartphone needed, just a couple of rocks, a little bit of paint, and a lot of creativity. There's a new phenomenon rocking Martin County. Good job. Where folks are leaving no stone unturned. Is it pretty? Yeah. And if you ask Cindy Rude, we just see people looking for rocks. It's it's so amazing. She never saw it coming. What, what are all these people that really we started this? Cindy says it was an idea from her sister this past Thanksgiving. Yeah. The concept: paint a few rocks and then hide them in various locations around the city for people to find them and then replace them with their own creations. We had probably what 50 to 60 rocks. The family started a Facebook page so people could share their creations with works of art ranging from fun to thoughtful. And so what started as a small family project grew and grew and grew. The page is now up to more than 9,000 fans, people all over Martin County searching for rocks and it's generating interest not only around the country but around the world. A gentleman found it and he's from Puerto Rico so he messaged us through the page and he is taking the rocks back to Puerto Rico and he's going to hide them. And Cindy's daughter Caitlin says in this world of nonstop technology, it's a good change of pace for families trying to unplug. To get out there and, and to exercise and walk around and see our beautiful community. She's proud of the creativity it sparked and the message it sends. My mom and I, we are born and raised here. We're glad to bring something positive to this community. Showing that Martin County indeed rocks in more ways than one. Now these things are pretty cool. Here at the park today alone, we found about a dozen rocks scattered uh, around Memorial Park. Everybody seems to be getting into this. We've seen posts from everybody from county fire rescue to local businesses. If you want to check out some of the pictures of some of the creative works of art people are making, you head to Facebook and type in Martin County Rocks. Live in Martin County tonight, Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5.